In this video, we are going to talk about how we can create an event booking website where you can create events and then sell tickets as well. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. And if you want to learn more about that, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So in order to create an online event booking website, we need two things. First, we need a plugin or a feature by which we can create and post event on our website. Along with that, we need ability to sell these tickets right from our WordPress website. So we are going to cover both of these points. So let's dive in in our WordPress backend and see how it is done. And in order to create our event booking website, first we need to install a plugin which can allow us to create and post event on this WordPress setup. So for that, we need to go to plugins and then click on add new and here we will search for event calendar. So this is the events calendar plugin that we need to install. So let's go ahead and install it and then click on activate. So now the plugin is installed. So in order to configure this, let's go ahead and skip this step and directly go to the configuration settings. And here are all the settings that you can play around. We have already covered all these settings in our previous video. So you can go ahead and watch that in the I button above or we will leave that in the video description below. And now by using this plugin, we will be able to create event type posts. So we will be able to create events like this. So if we go ahead and edit this, here we can enter the title and our description for event and all the other details that looks pretty much same as we create a blog post. And once that post is live, we can see our event here. We have the title, we have the time and the ticket price. And below that we have the image for the event and a little bit of description. And with that, we also get option to add this event to our Google as well as iCalendar. And once again, if we go back in events, here we can see the upcoming events like this or in month view in form of a calendar like this. So now in order to sell tickets for this event, we need to add an extra plugin, which is from the same developers. And this will allow us to sell tickets right from our WordPress website. So let's go back in our WordPress backend and once again, we will go to plugins and then click on add new. And this time we are going to search for event tickets and this is the event tickets plugin. And once again, it is from the same company, the events calendar. So you can see that developer name is same in both. So let's go ahead and install this plugin and then click on activate. All right, so now we are back with the configuration setting for event tickets. So let's click here. So once again, we are back in the general settings and we got a new option added here that is payments. So here for the tickets. So here we can assign where we want to show our tickets. So we will only use events. After that, we have an option for RSVP form. So we want, so where we want to place this, let's keep it below event description and location for ticket form. Once again, let's keep it below description here as well. After that, we have an option to display ticket left threshold. So we can set a minimum limit, which will be visible if the tickets are running out. Below that we have login requirements. So the login is required before anyone do RSVP or before doing purchase of ticket. So we can go ahead and select both of these options and then click on save changes. Once that is done, we now move on to the payment section. And here we have an option to enable ticket commerce, which will allow us to sell tickets from our WordPress website. So let's turn this on and save changes. So now we have Stripe as well as PayPal option available and by which we will be able to collect payments and sell tickets from our website. So you can directly go ahead and connect both of these payment gateways and it's pretty straightforward. You just need to log in in your payment account and the API will get connected automatically. After that, we have enable test mode option. So if you want, you can go ahead and enable this so that you can test the payment first before making the website live. After that, we have currency code. So you can choose the currency as per your location. Below that, we have stock holding. So you can select the desired option from here as well. 
and below that we have checkout page so what page you want to use as checkout so by default it creates a ticket checkout page after that we have success page so where your visitors will be redirected once they purchase the ticket here is the order completed page you can select any new page from here after that we have confirmation email sender address so this is the email id which it will use to send the email for the buyer after that we have the sender name as well as subject for the email and once we are done we just need to click on save changes so let's go back in our event list and see where we can add the ticket option so let's go ahead and edit this and here if we scroll down here we have an option to add tickets so we can click on add new ticket and we can name it anything we can give a little bit of description here and we can add the date from where we want to start selling the tickets from and the end date we can also assign the price and then the capacity how many tickets we want to sell after that we can just click on save ticket and now we have the ticket live so let's go ahead and update this and see how it looks in the front end so let's go ahead and refresh this event from here so now we have a new section of tickets added here we have the ticket title as well as the description price as well as the availability you can go ahead and increase the amount of ticket you want to purchase and then click on get tickets and now we are at the ticket checkout page and because we have not configured any payment gateway that's why we are not able to complete the purchase but as soon as you complete your configuration of stripe or paypal you will be able to do the purchase from your website itself so this is how you can create your event booking website where you can create event as well as sell tickets on your wordpress website so if you have any questions regarding event booking or wordpress in general then feel free to ask us in the comment section below if you like this video then make sure you hit the like button and to watch more videos like this subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video and if you need any expert help regarding your website you can connect with us using the link given in the video description below so that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next video